big question is, what are we cutting today, Bill? <laughs> Never mind. We'll let everybody just figure this out. I don't think I would call this a CNC laser. It acts more like a printer than anything else. And it's computer operated, but it doesn't use G code. Right. However, it runs is pretty cool either way.
And this is what, the 50 watt laser or is this, uh, this is the 100? Watt laser. Go. That's one sheet. Several more to go. Capsides. First layer. All right, we got a new body here. This is Millbrook 70 with a new cab. This cab is laser cut. The laser cut cab came out really well, I think. They always look good when they're cut. Can I use your head to roll this? <laughs> That's going to be a little big. That's off of an ES2500. Still, though. Yeah. Yeah, I have to cut some. You have to have some cut because it's not yeah. right. Yeah, I got to get a new piece cut. The reason this is 
off of an ES2500 and not used is because I attempted to silver solder a piece of brass to the bottom of it, and I got it too hot, and I realized, okay, that's pretty dumb. That was a yeah. dumb idea. It didn't work out. It didn't work out so well. Hey, live and learn. Yep. So, headlight goes in the back of the cab here, like this. Yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, and you have to do some trimming there. And this headlight goes up here in the front of the cab, or in front of the body, like this. And let's see, that goes like this. And it pops in there. I'm going to have to get a new piece to do that, but that's uh, about the way it's going to be. So, there we are. Now we just need paint. Which brings me to the next problem. Yeah, they don't make the yellow anymore that I use. I'm going to have to change paint companies. Yeah. No more rust oleum. Well, I have to go to Krylon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know, find another yellow. I'm sure that yeah. there's plenty of yellows available out there. Or Krylon, I guess you could say. <laughs> the Krylot colors. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I have no opinion, really. I've been using rust oleum for a lot of years, though. And this is Rust-Oleum Old Caterpillar Yellow, which is the one I can't get anymore. The main color is Rust-Oleum Hunter Green. I can still get that. Runnings has their own brand, which has Old Caterpillar Yellow, Old Caterpillar, or Case John, John Deere, Orange, or something. Yeah, I'll have to find something like that, but the... The colors are going to have to change a little bit. Only the, not the scheme, but the, the colors themselves are going to have to change just a little bit just to keep up with what's available. Krylon has a brighter yellow and a brighter, I guess is a more intense yellow. Yeah. Um, Tough decision, man. Yeah, and, and it's got a brighter green. And I kind of like it. it. It's not John Deere bright, but it's... It, it, seems to um it's like they took the the um rust-oleum colors and you know jacked up the color saturation yeah it's kind of nice but i haven't seen it on anything yet i just have a couple of cans that i bought for just to test with i don't know what it's going to look like on something i might test it with this <laughs> <laughs> be a tough one. so we'll see i got it. it just means i have to let this stuff dry um a lot longer and seal it up uh, this is a laser cut cab so um sliding windows yeah of course yeah opening and closing doors yeah with little hinges. With little hinges. Yeah. I'll have to get some little latches too. Make some doorknobs. I have some off the 70. There you go. Yeah, they're EMD style. But I don't care. It works. <laughs> so, yeah. The 70 will ride again soon. As soon as I get all the electronics into this box. Well, I gotta paint it first. Paint it first, get everything done. Yep. Got a little more space in there. Cool. Yep. Yeah, it's a little more spacious in there. Slightly. Yeah. Half Only, an inch or so. Yeah, barely. But well, that's shows. that's plenty. It does show. It shows a lot, actually. Um, let's see. The back of this cab. Actually, you know what? It, it is closer to the to the back wall here than, than it used to be. So it is a bigger cab. So, I guess that's not a terrible thing. Hmm. 70's going to look a little different. 
It'll look better. Yeah. It'll look as good. Nobody will, once it's painted, it'll blend into the scenery. You'll never know the difference. Yep. I don't think anybody will recognize it with fresh paint. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. Yeah. And with, with, with actually two pilots that aren't beat to death. You will need to uh, go out and derail a few times to yeah. give it some character. Yeah, i got to put the... I gotta put some steel cladding on the pilots here too after I get the paint yeah. all done. So, or at least all the the base paint done. Yeah. Yeah, get it sealed up. Yeah. Get the paint on. Yep. We'll be good to go. Yep. So next step, more paint, more sanding. Actually, I haven't started sanding yet, but yeah, a lot of sanding to do, a lot of painting to do. I gotta get enough paint in here. Gotta get it thick enough to fill in these pores, and. Uh, then I'll uh, then I'll sand some more. Sounds good. Yep. Well, thanks for watching this video, but uh, the rebuilding of the seventy, I'm getting close. The thing is, that last eight percent of stuff you got to do. That's what takes ninety percent of the time. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Even with these little things. Yeah. If you like this video, hit the like button, please. It does make a big difference. Um, if you uh, uh, feel so inclined, uh, become a patron on Patreon. Uh, I believe it is patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And you get to see videos uh, in advance. Um, and they do tend to stack up every now and then. So uh, you'll get at least 24 hours in advance and uh, maybe maybe even longer for some videos. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have yourself a great day.